Welcome to the Genealogy Happy Hour, a place where new family historians can learn to document their family histories and celebrate their new discoveries. I'm Amy. And I'm Penny. And we're here to help you discover your family tree from the beginning. Welcome to episode 70. Today, we're going to be talking about just a variety of things dealing with genealogy that hopefully can help you out in your research. Um, Maybe things you already know about, things you haven't thought about, um, or things you don't know about. But before we get into that, Amy has got a fascinating wine. Fascinating wine. This is today we are drinking a Pinot Noir from Russian River Valley. It is called Juggernaut, and it's, it's bold. It is bold. And it's got berries and spice and red cherries with that floral note. And, um, and they also have, um, Juggernaut also has a cab. It's called Hillside Cab that we probably need to try because I like this one. It, it is good. And the label is really the pretty. The label is really pretty. Yeah, it's a, like this Excellent. screaming um, eagle. Big colors. Yeah. yeah. It's really pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. So it's very nice. I like it. So we'll try the cab next time. Excellent. All right. Excellent. All right. So we got tips, tips and tricks Let's and lots yeah. of good good, well, good stuff. Packed mm. full of good knowledge. Yeah. Let's I don't do know it. if it's tips and tricks, but it's, it's, it's something. <laughs> um, so first I wanted to either remind everyone or let everyone know that Roots Tech um, is going to uh, open up their registration should be in September uh, that's going to be March 2 through 4 in 2023 and this year they are doing virtual and in person and the virtual will be free for everyone and in person will have a registration fee and I'm not sure it on their website it wasn't really explicit as a virtual is everything like mm-hmm. it was last year or mm-hmm. maybe just a portion, portion right. or if maybe the in-person stuff is more some hands-on workshop kind of things mm-hmm. that they're doing um I, i'm not sure it's it's, it's so, a little vague so but check it out so yeah. you can you can go in person you if you want in, because there's some great researching that you can do there at yes, the library yes. or you can still participate virtually That's yes nice. and we nice. haven't been we haven't been in a few years We're and not no. i'm kind of thinking it might be might be worth a trip to go back just to have access to that library again that would be nice i feel like things are piling up that i can't get we to. do need to do a research trip that's for sure we do i've got some stuff that we need to do yeah we do okay all right i can't wait to see where you want us to go okay. <laughs> <laughs> not to the cornfields of ohio <laughs> i love ohio all my family in ohio <laughs> i do too yeah. i think i think we've exhausted all the resources in ohio i agree okay i agree all right Okay, so um, on that Roots Tech um, type topic, so that's a that's a big conference. If that's not something you guys want to go to, or you're looking for something closer to home, I probably have mentioned this in a past long ago podcast, but um, check out conferencekeeper.org. What is conferencekeeper.org? It ha- is. It keeps your conferences oh. all listed. <laughs> Conference keeper, Amy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it has a list of all the genealogical conferences um, that are happening by state, by topic, um, big the big conferences, local, um, what do I want, societies, mm-hmm. if they have a mm-hmm. speaker. And I'm telling you, I went through it, uh, I was just looking to see what was happening here in Florida, now that I'm back in Florida, what's uh, anything good to go to at local one, uh, local historical societies and genealogical societies have something. And they they can be very, um, like, driven down to your German ancestors from this town, Mm. you know, whatever, you know, town... Joe's town, you know, whatever. And I'm like, wow, that's wow. very specific. specific. Very specific. <laughs> Interesting. But then there are obviously more of the um, bigger ones. But that's a, a great place to go and look. They have it by calendar. You can so search by location. They have um, a whole page of podcasts you can listen to. Not that you need to go to any other podcast but us. But no, you should. You should listen. <laughs> there are some other good ones out there. 
there's some others that I've listened to that I, I didn't know of before and I, mm-hmm. I clicked on a few to to listen and mm-hmm. I don't know. This is just me personally. If I'm listening to a podcast, I don't like to hear... I don't like it when they do a lot of chatter at the beginning. You know, like, oh, what did you do this week? Blah, blah, blah. You know, they go into all that kind of stuff. I, I don't want to listen to that. You don't want to know what I did all week? I don't. I don't. Okay. I'll, I talked to you about that before we get That's on true. here. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here we are doing exactly what I don't want to hear on a podcast. Okay, but, so keep going. What's next? So that's what I just want to say. Okay. So a few of them, you just, you know, try some different ones out. But there's some there's some other good ones on there. So I'm not flowing into the next thing, but my Aunt Mary, hey, Mayor, um, she likes when I mention her on this podcast, she um, came to visit when I was up in Hendersonville, North Carolina with my parents and brought a load of genealogical information and a lot of pictures that she had no idea who they were. Nothing was written on the back. There's no notes great old photos so I took these pictures and I um, took pictures of them with my phone but I used a really good uh, or fun app that is called photo scan photo scan and it takes you take four pictures they'll have like a little dot when you take the first picture and I don't know it takes the four corners of the picture and it erases all the uh, glares and shadows so your your picture when you're taking a picture of the photo, it looks like the photo. Neat. You don't have any really of that cool. accessory stuff. What's that called? Photo scan. Photo scan. Okay. I've said it three times now. Maybe photo scan four. I'm downloading it right now. <laughs> so I took these pictures, and I went on to Facebook, and I am an admin for one of the for the Henry County, Ohio genealogic genealogy and history page and that's probably the incorrect title and here I'm an admin and I can't even get the title right but I posted all the pictures on there uh, saying that they are from my grandmother who was in Deschler, Ohio and if any of them look familiar you know let me know and I did get a response from someone there was a picture of 11 children probably ranging from maybe like 17 to 5 this big group of kids and this person said, oh, the, the older three look like uh, three Freitag children, the, or three Freitag people Oh, that's, people that's your that family. I and I was like, yes, Freitag. That's so cool. That's my grandmother's side. Yes, absolutely. So I was pretty excited. And I wrote back and, you know, said, of course, Freitag, you know, this is my grandmother's line. I, and I did not get a response. <laughs> oh, well. Um but I, I did pass that information on to my Aunt Mary. So maybe she will be able to connect the names. So some success there. Somebody. She knows that family pretty now, well. Now, is that photo scan by Google or photo scan by PhotoMine? Uh, you are asking a lot of questions here. But I'm, I will find out okay. right now. Because I was really just going to download the app. And there's like two called it, PhotoScan. It, um, whoop, let me go away. It has a blue... A blue square with a little blue circle up in the Yep. Okay, that's one by Google. Okay. By Google. Awesome. Okay. That's what it is. So you solved one, at least one of the photos. Aunt Mary now knows who they are. They're fry tags. tags, At least three people in it are Mm -hmm. fry tags. Nice. Yeah, so got that Mm -hmm. done. But um, while we're on the Facebook thing, I wanted Mm -hmm. to say, y'all, way long ago, I think we did a a podcast on social media we and um, using that for your research and you you have to do that you have to go in there and join groups join groups by the town by the family name um, there's so many genealogical groups out there and I went into uh, the Wayne County West Virginia group which I have been a member of, and I have I haven't checked on there in a while, and because I haven't been doing research in that area, but you know, just for fun, I threw in the Stevens name with a PH in the search box. So when you're in that group page and you're on Wayne County, click the search box and type in a person's name, a last name in general, maybe um, a town, you know, whatever you are looking for specifically. 
So I typed in Stevens, and uh, something popped up with the ancestor's uh, name that was related to uh, in my line. And I was like, wow, this is great. You know, then like 25 comments, a lot of people uh, talking about this person. And one, one of the members mentioned a book called Tattered Uniforms and Bright Bayonets, mm-hmm. which is a list of um, Confederate soldiers from the Civil War. And my one ancestor is listed in there. I thought this is great. Maybe, right. maybe because I have a lot of people from West Virginia, this would be a great book to look through. Right. Yep. Um, and uh, so I made a note of that book, and then I scrolled. I immediately wanted to make a, a comment and mm-hmm. and say, "Hey, I'm also looking for this ancestor that went back another generation or two. And I started typing it, and I was like, "Wait, let me let me keep scrolling through the search." before I do that and sure enough someone had already asked about this other ancestor a couple of generations back <clears throat> and in that line of responses someone had um, mentioned a book the Ferguson family's genealogical history of Wayne County West Virginia mm-hmm. um, had that line also listed in this group oh. of Ferguson family so oh. I never would have found right this Ferguson because you don't have Fer- you don't have Ferguson I don't have Ferguson mm-hmm. so these uh, Facebook pages uh, you never know who's going to post something in there. One person mentioned on there that they know someone who's got all the land records back to the 1750s from this this family. And she's hoping that they'll come on Facebook to share. And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> we need to aggressively ask this person to share. Aggressively? <laughs> you going to show up at their house? <laughs> Knock on Hello? the door? Hello? Bring some cookies or muffins? <laughs> With your little photo scan. <laughs> Ready to go. I need to see these land records right now. Right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh! But okay. anyway, y'all need to get on on these Facebook groups. Um, so or not? Does <laughs> Penny may or show not. up at it's, your door? That's right. I might. I might come after you if you've got a record I need. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> but I will go to a library <laughs> if that book is at your library. So I've, I've got the names of these two books, which I found on um, WorldCat. Oh, WorldCat's great. WorldCat. Got to use WorldCat because you can do an interlibrary loan, possibly, Mm -hmm. you know, if that library is willing to share, even if you're not close by. But the first book that I mentioned that um, Tattered Uniforms and Bright Bayonets is at a library um, fairly close to um, my parents in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So next time I go up there, I might might take a ride up there and see if I Mm -hmm. can. Yeah. I was. I like book. to do World Cat too when um, we're going on a you know on site trip, mm-hmm. research trip to see you know what books are in those local libraries that I can pick up if I'm going to be in that area. That, I mean, not pick up, but you know I can use as a resource in that area. Absolutely, so, yeah. that is a great, yep. um, mm-hmm. great thought. Yep. Yeah, to use that. So I hope that I hope some of those um, ideas uh, are something you can use in your mm-hmm. research and. Yeah. One other thing that I would add oh, is I do. Of course, I have you something. Got something techy? <laughs> yeah, I do actually. All right, what is it? <laughs> and I think I, we probably have mentioned this in another podcast, but um, one resource. It's not a, a, particularly a, a resource for research. It's a resource for learning. Is uh, Legacy Tree webinars? Oh gosh, I love them so much. We use them at, at work um, because you know I've got professional genealogists that that work for me, and so once a month we get together and we watch one of those together as a group, and then we talk about it because we're all members of the Association of Professional Genealogists, and we have to have continuing education. Um, um, hours every year so it's a great way to get together take a little minute from work and then learn something you know hear about how other um, very um, experienced genealogists have solved a problem there's a lot of case studies on there there's a board for certification genealogists they have a whole program <clears throat> or a um, a whole line of uh, different webinars at different um, 
uh, certified genealogists have, have put up there. So it's a great resource. Um, yes. They have some free ones, uh, but I think it's it's only like fifty dollars a year that yeah, you can that you can subscribe to. Yeah, and then and, get and a you whole get bunch. so much out of it. <clears throat> yeah. Speaking of that, actually, mm-hmm. I was just watching one of those the other day because I thought this would be great, and I'm just going to mention it. Um, Again, something we've probably mentioned in the past, but um, DNA Painter mm-hmm. um, by Johnny Pearl. Yeah, it's it's fun. Um, I wish I had more relatives that I have access to their DNA. I do. I guess I should really need to reach out and say, hey, can you share this with me so I can um, put this up on DNA Painter? Because mm-hmm. the more people that you can put on your paint your palette, I mm-hmm. guess. Um, you can differentiate the colors to, to to see how your DNA breaks down into your maternal and paternal side and who you relate to. It's really more of a personal thing. Um, it's not like doing the research for you or anything, but it's taking your DNA, you match it with someone else, and you see where those centimorgans um, mm-hmm. overlap, right, and right. then you can put in a color, mm-hmm. and you can make a note. I match with mm-hmm. Joe Smith over mm-hmm. here. He's on my mother's side. Mm-hmm. We're second cousins or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then when you add another person in, um, might be this, you know, you add those colors, and oh, it's, it's okay. just fun. I, yeah. I can't explain it. You can watch these webinars and, <laughs> and learn about it. They, mm-hmm. um, they're explained out there, but I'm a visual learner, so DNA painters is fun for me it helps you see exactly it does. where it see. those matches really are coming yes. from oh, that's interesting yes that's especially to, to differentiate your maternal and paternal side well, you know i've recently noticed that there's a couple matches that have popped up on mine and i don't know who these people are i don't know what side of the family they're from and they don't have a tree in your so, ancestry mm, dna mm-hmm, match yeah. yes yes if so they i could don't. use i might be able to i don't yeah no i don't, I don't know. know you have to oh because you have, have to have access to their dna okay. to put it on there right. but um yeah, but you would have to do more of the reverse genealogy with mm-hmm. them to figure try out to what, find right. out, yep. you know, and, mm-hmm. and that that takes time. I've done that though. Mm-hmm. I've done that with yeah. with people on a DNA match, especially because I'm, as you all know, I'm still working on this Burke line. If I could find some remote Burke out there that might match, they something, just popped but, up in Ohio. Yeah, 1850. 18, yeah, 1830. 1830. Oh, we got about to 30. Got, yeah, yeah, just showed up. Just shut up. I know. But it's always a hope. It's always a hope. That I'll, um, you make us go back to Ohio. Yeah. But oh, on the flip side, DNA, um, Ancestry DNA has updated their, um, I don't know what you call it, you know, how your your DNA changes. Ethnic- your yeah, ethnicity. That's it. Mm-hmm. And um, I've got a lot of Scotland in me now. Yeah. Looky there. A lot more. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And I, I swear it's on my grandfather's side because he looked Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> And he's the only one I, I can't put anywhere. Is he the Burke? No, well, I got oh. the Burke. He could be, but no, it's the Stevens. It's my Stevens line, and he does have Scottish on France. his side. I've got I thought, Stevens, I thought your Stevens were from my France. my grandmother. She's oh, a Florence. Okay, she yeah. married into the Stevens. She married the okay. Stevens. Okay, but the Stevens has a McLeod and oh. um, one other Scott. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking That's there's where probably more from. Scott yeah. on that side than Neat. than I thought. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, good. Well, we hope that some of this, some of this information, might be helpful to someone out there. Yeah. But yeah, definitely check check out the legacy um, webinars. Check out um, check out WorldCat. Look mm-hmm. at Conference Keeper. Download Photo Scan and get on some Facebook groups. The Facebook book groups. Yeah. I think that's a really really good resource. That's yes underrated for sure. Or, Absolutely, because there are people out at. there sharing things that you want. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you, you, you <laughs> Penny will not show up. After. She will not show up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for listening. Please email us with any questions or comments at genealogyhappyhour at gmail.com. Visit our website, www.genealogyhappyhour.com, for additional resources, books, and wines. Don't forget to drink responsibly and never drink around genealogical documents.